Hey guys, it's me Jasmine. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of my doll costumes. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this outfit is a dragon outfit. So for the first piece I put together is this little like jacket and it has like a dragon pattern or snake pattern on it. And it has a hood, has two drawstrings right there. And on the back of the hood, it has these two like frilly things on the back. And if you turn it around, the jacket has this long tail attached to it. And it's the same fabric as the jacket with the same frilly part on it. And then I just put that together with a pair of black pants so that it matches. And finally, I just gave these um, black and white boots from Grace's collection to it so that it looks just like a dragon. So now let's put this on one of my dolls. So this is the doll that I dressed up. I decided to dress up my dragon doll, Ryoko, which some of you guys may know about her if you guys follow my Instagram. But if you don't, then she is brand new to you because she's never been in any of my videos. So if you guys want to, you can go check out the photo that I posted about her on my Instagram. It will be down below in the description box. So definitely go check it out and maybe follow me. So anyways, this is Ryoko and I put her in her dragon outfit. And this is what she looks like. She looks just like a dragon and she's so adorable. So this costume is an Anna costume. So the first part of it is I have this dress. It looks exactly like Anna's. So the top is just this satin teal color. And the dress is like the skirt part is this light um, dark blue color. And it has these glittery flowers all over it. And then it has this vest that's separate from it, but it looks like Anna's, and it's like black velvet, and then it has this gold lining with, again, some glittery flowers. And then, the dress also comes with this cape, so it's just this satin pink color, and it's all it has some pom-poms all over it. And then on the front... It has like this where you can like connect these two where it, so that it stays in her neck like that. So and then at the top it also has this black lining. And finally for the shoes I found these black riding boots and I think that these look exactly like something Anna would wear. So let's get this on one of my dolls. So this is Juliet. She's the doll that I dressed up in the Anna costume, and this is what she looks like. I put her hair in two braids so that she looks just like Anna, and this is what the dress looks like on her. She looks so adorable, and I think that she looks just like Anna. And again, just like the Elsa outfit, you can barely see her shoes, but I mean, she is wearing the same shoes, kind of like what Anna would wear. So for this outfit, I have a mermaid tail because one of my dolls is going to be a mermaid. So I made this mermaid tail. It's made out of this super pretty like colorful metallic fabric and it's really stretchy and it has this like stem um, or gem right here. And then this is the tail part of it. And just to match that, I have the top which looks like this and it kind of looks like seashells and it has two strands one to go around her back and one to go around her neck and again it has a gem right in the middle so this outfit doesn't need any shoes or anything because mermaids don't wear shoes like that so let's put this on one of my dolls so i decided to dress up my doll nania in the mermaid costume since she is hawaiian and she like loves everything about the sea so this is what she looks like i just have her hair in two buns and this is what the outfit looks like on her she looks adorable and i think that this mermaid tail just matches her personality perfectly so the next outfit that i have is more of a Christmassy outfit, but I think it's super cute for Halloween because you can also dress up as an elf. So I just have this red leotard. It's made out of red velvet fabric and super nice and soft and I made it. 
I made kind of like this whole thing, except for a couple of items. And then we made these pants. They're the same material as the, um, the leotard. They're just pants and they don't have any feet. So, yep. And then I have this white sparkly tutu. It's kind of like everywhere, but I mean, it looks so cute. And I think that it matches the outfit just great. And then the last thing that I made to this set is this um, white collar to go around their neck because if you've ever seen an elf, like an elf has like that white collar around their neck. So I just made that as an extra. And then the things that I didn't make is I made is um, this American Girl doll Christmas hat or Santa hat. And it has like the white fuzz at the bottom, and then it's red, and then it has a little white pom pom at the top. And this just matches it perfectly because, like, how the elves have that, like, their Christmas hat or Santa hat. And then for the shoes, I just did these white shoes from Melody's birthday outfit. And they're just white, and they have these black bows and elastic at the front. So, I told you guys that was a lot of parts to this whole outfit. So, now let's put it on one of my dolls. So, this is the doll that I decided to dress up. It's my doll, Sage. And this is what she looked like in her outfit. So, for her hat, I decided to put her hair up into a high bun. So that it could, like, hold up the Santa hat, if you know what I mean. Like, kind of how the elves have their, like, straight hat. This is kind of... I tried remaking that and I also let out a little piece of the front of her hair so you could see what color her hair is just like how the elves have it and then for her outfit this is what it looks like she has her red leotard with her white collar on with her really sparkly tutu and then her red pants and then the white shoes so this is the entire elf outfit on Sage so for this outfit it's an Elsa dress so this is the dress it's so pretty it looks just like Aunt Elsa and off the top it just has this mesh with some snowflakes all over it and it's super sparkly and then it has this top over it and then it's like this blue satin and it has all these like really sparkly blue sequins on it and then for the skirt it's just this satin blue color and then on over that it has the mesh with the snowflakes just like the top and then if you turn it over on the back, it's see-through right here. And then it has like a little cape part of it. And it ha it's just white or clear, whichever one you want to call it. And then it has these glittery polka dots all over it. And then I just gave it this um, Truly Me blue shoes. And I think that they match the dress perfectly. And then they have these like silver glittery dots all over them and I thought that they suited Elsa perfectly so let's put this on my doll. So I dressed Isabel up as Elsa. She looks so cute. I just put her hair into a side braid and then she just has the dress on with the shoes. You can't see them because the dress is so long and it covers the shoes but the she's wearing them and she looks so cute. So the next outfit is going to be a Miranda Sings costume. So for the first item you'll need is a t-shirt. I just have this purple t-shirt and it has her famous cat logo on it. And for her pants, I just have these red velvet pants, kind of like what um, the elf outfit had. Just these say haters back off on the back of them and this is the front and for the shoes what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some crocs so I just have these pink crocs so that they match Miranda's and finally for the hair you're going to need two bobby pins so that you can pull her hair back so now let's get this on one of my dolls so as you guys probably guessed, I put this outfit on my Miranda Sings doll. So this is what she looks like. She just has her hair back with the two bobby pins and she has her lipstick on. But if you guys don't want to mess up your doll, I don't. If I was putting actual like, lipstick, this is with a marker on her. But that's because like I want her to be Miranda forever. And then she has her cat shirt on. And then her nails are also painted red just like the actual Miranda. And then she has... 
her pants on, and then her famous Crocs. So that is the final outfit of Miranda Sings. So for this outfit, it's a pumpkin outfit. So it's just this like orange dress that we made. It's like this orange fleece color and then at the top it has green for like some leaves. And then it has like this jack-o'-lantern face that we used for back. We used black felt to cut out and just sewed it on. And then right here it has two drawstrings so then your dolls can put their arms through these holes and then you just pull it so that you tighten it around their like shoulders. And then we also made a hat for it and it's the same orange fleece and like the green for the top. And it just has this little like stem that we made out of brown fabric and it looks like the top of the pumpkin when it's on her head. And then for the shoes, I just did these tan shoes so that they matched kind of like the pumpkin-y. So, because like, it's like kind of like the stem, just it's on her feet. So yeah, let's get this on my doll. So, I dressed my doll, Jessie, up in the pumpkin outfit. So this is what she's wearing. She's wearing the hat on her hair and she just has her hair down. And then she has the little pumpkin dress on and she looks so cute with it on. And then finally, she just has the tan shoes, and I think that this outfit is so adorable on Jessie. So, for the next Halloween costume I have is just one item, and it's a onesie. So, this is my unicorn onesie. This is what it looks like. It's white, and it has a bunch of little, like, triangle spots all over it. And then it has, on the hood, some ears with some glittery purple on the inside this unicorn horn which is so cute and then some fuzz like for the mane then in the middle it just has a pink stomach and then of course it has the feet so I don't need shoes or anything for this and then on the back it just has its little tail so now let's get this on one of my dolls so for this outfit I dress my doll Ella up in this unicorn onesie so I decided to not put the hood on her hair because it's so pretty and so colorful and her hair is also too thick and too long to fit into the hood so I just decided to leave it in, in the back and I put a unicorn on her head like it's a little headband that I made so it looks just like a unicorn because without it, it wouldn't look, it would just look like a horse or something. So anyways, this is what the costume looks like on Ella. She looks so adorable and I love this outfit on her. So I, Ella is so excited to wear this for Halloween. So this outfit is going to be a pirate outfit. So the first thing that it comes with is this pirate dress this is what it looks like it's super cute and it has like some skulls right here some lace and it like ties up and it has like this really really tutu and it's super cute and then it also comes with a little like felt sword which is so cute and i think that it matches like the outfit perfectly and that it would look adorable with the dolls and then for the hat it just comes with like this black hat it's like um a sailboat hat or something and then it has this pink rim and then these really sparkly flowers right here and they're so pretty so and then in the top it's just see-through like just put it on your doll's head and finally for the shoes I just chose these black oh <laughs> these black Flats. These are what they look like. They're just pretty simple and normal. And I thought that they would look great with the outfit. So now let's put this on my doll. So this is what my doll Z looks like all dressed up in the pirate outfit. So she just has her hair down with the hat in her hair. And the dress is on her and she looks so cute. And she's holding her sword. And for her shoes, just those black shoes that I showed you guys. And I think that she looks so adorable in this costume. So the next dress is a superwoman outfit. So the dress is looks like this. And it has a blue top and it has a superman sign. But since it's a dress, that means it's superwoman. It has some red lining at the top and this gold belt that's just sewn on. And then for this skirt, it has this red satin and then red, um, like, mesh 
over it with this green thread on the side and this looks so cute and then this outfit wouldn't be superwoman if there wasn't a cape so this is the cape it's just the red color so that it matches the dress and it has the super superman or superwoman sign on it and this is the front and it just felt grows around the doll's neck and for the shoes it comes with these like sock things they kind of remind me of the shoes they're like boots or something and they're red and blue but i wouldn't really call these shoes but when they're on the doll they look just like that she has shoes on so let's get this on my doll so I just kid up in the Superwoman outfit and she looks so cute. So she just has her hair down and she has a dress with a cape on. She looks adorable with this on. And then she just has those sock boots that I was talking about. And overall, I think that kit is so cute. So this next costume is one of my favorites. So it is just a little mini Mouse costume. So for the outfit, I just have this red dress with white polka dots on it, and it's super cute. It has some white thread right here and like some red, like lace right here, and it's so cute, and I love it so much. And then since this dress is a little bit too big and just a tiny bit too long, I have this white ribbon so that I can tie it around their waist so that it fits on them perfectly. And my favorite part about this entire outfit are these little mini mouse ears that I made for it and it's super cute and this is the back and I think that this just makes the outfit complete and it looks so adorable on the dolls and finally of course you can't forget about the shoes so I just have these red and white shoes and I thought that they would be perfect for Minnie Mouse because Minnie Mouse loves red and white so let's get this on one of my dolls so I dressed up my doll Olivia as Minnie Mouse and she looks so adorable. She has the Minnie Mouse ears in her hair and this is what her dress looks like. I just gave her her dress and since it was a little bit too long I took that right white ribbon and I tied a bow in the back. And then there are the shoes. So overall this outfit looks just like Minnie Mouse and I think that Olivia looks adorable. So the next outfit is a cowgirl outfit. So for the dress, it's just this little pink dress. And it's so adorable. It has, it's like a dress. It's like pink right here. And it has like this blue heart and some blue like fringe on the sides. And then it has like this lace like little vest over it. And it has this red belt. And then the same fabric that's over here is as the skirt. Just it has a layer of regular like satin pink fabric. And I think that it looks so adorable. And to match like this girly cowboy like style. So I took Tenny's, um, Tenny's really sparkly boots. And these like match perfectly to this outfit. So I think that she's going to look adorable wearing this. So I chose Kristen to wear this cowgirl outfit. And she looks so cute so she just has her hair and her regular hair that she comes with and this is the dress on her it looks so cute on her and she looks adorable wearing it plus the blue matches the little ribbons in her hair and her eyes and finally her boots and I think that this outfit matches perfectly and the boots just go great with the dress so on to the next Halloween costume the next Halloween costume that I have is a American Girl Frankenstein costume. So it comes with this white dress and it's so pretty. It has like this green right here and it has like a little cobweb with a little spider in the corner. And the top is just this really pretty lace with some stripes in it. And for the shoes it just comes with these little black boots. These are what they look like and they have green stitching all over them. And they look adorable and they match the dress amazingly. And to make this outfit a Frankenstein outfit, she has her little like hat hair thing and it looks super cute and it just makes the dress look so much more like Frankenstein. 
And finally, she just has her little trick-or-treat bag where she can put all the candy that she gets from where she was trick-or-treating. So now let's get one of my dolls dressed up. So the doll that I dressed up in the Frankenstein outfit is my doll Felicity. I thought that her green eyes matched the Frankenstein perfectly. So she's wearing the hat and this is what she looks like in it. She looks so cute. And she has her beautiful green eyes, which I think that just go great with it. And then she has her dress on and her boots. And she's holding her little Frankenstein trick-or-treat bag. So for this outfit, it's going to be a Sleeping Beauty outfit. So for the dress, I just have this pink dress and it's so cute. It has like this pink sparkly top with these like adorable little sleeves with little ruffles at the end. And then this like neckline where it's like all ruffly and it like fringe and it looks so cute. And then for the skirt, it's just this regular pink fabric for the bottom. And then this tulle like pink sparkly fabric over that. So that's it for the dress. And for the shoes, I just decided to go with these plain white shoes so that um, they like look all clean and stuff so that they look good with the dress. And then I have a little tiara since um, Sleeping Beauty or Aurora is a princess. So I just have this silver tiara and with uh, has pink gems on them. And I'll just put this in my doll's hair. So let's get this on my doll. So I decided to dress up my doll Tenny as Aurora because she's the doll that most reminds me of her. So she just has her hair down with her um, crown in her hair and then she's wearing the dress and she looks so cute. I think that pink is one of Tenny's colors. And then she just has the shoes on. So the next Halloween costume is an Indian costume and all that it has is one of Kaya's outfits. I think that this is um, her celebration outfit and it's really cool. It's like white at the top and then it has a lighter blue and it has this dark blue at the very bottom and then it has all these like jingle like things on it, these little bells. And they're really cool because like whenever like you move it, it jingles and like <laughs> it's like you can know where she is at wherever she goes, my doll. So anyways, I don't have anything else to this. Like I don't have shoes because Indians, they don't usually wear shoes. And also this dress didn't come with any from Kaya's collection. So let's get this on my doll. So for the Indian, I dressed up my doll, Kaya, since she was the Indian and she's wearing her own outfit. So I just have her hair in a ponytail and she's wearing her like outfit, her celebration outfit and she looks so cute and she's not wearing any shoes because Indians don't wear shoes but I think that this outfit looks adorable on Kaya. So the next outfit that I have is from Molly's collection. I have her retired like, um, her retired top outfit and it's so cute it's like red white and blue and I love it how it looks it's adorable and then the skirt is red white and blue with little stripes and then the top is blue and it has like these details of silver and red and then it has like a shooting star on it and then it came with these like little shorts or bloomers to put under the dress so that they so that it looks so that um you don't see your doll's underwear. So then I don't I didn't get the shoes with this outfit, but um I have like these jazz shoes in my collection of shoes and I thought that they would work because jazz shoes well they don't tap or anything but, like I think they'll work. They don't match the dress, but I mean this is the closest to what I have for jazz shoes. So as my jazz slash tap girl, I decided to dress up my doll, Samantha, only because she's the doll that looks most like Molly. So she has her hair down and she's wearing Molly's tap outfit. And the jazz shoes actually don't look too bad compared to the outfit once it's on. So this is the final outfit of what Samantha looks like. 
The next costume is a sailor's costume. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. It's like this light blue and white and dark blue colors so the top is so adorable it's like this light blue and white striped fabric for the whole dress and then it has this like blue rim around it and it's so adorable and right in the middle it has like this white fabric with blue on it and then lace and it has like these little like off the shoulder things which are so cute and then for the skirt it's the same blue light blue and white straight fabric and it has the blue rim and lace so i just paired this dress with a pair of white shoes with little bows on them and these look so cute so i decided to dress up my doll elizabeth as the sailor girl so i decided to dress her up as the sailor because her eyes are so pretty they're really blue and they remind me of the sea or the ocean and this is what the dress looks on her. She looks so cute wearing it. And there are her white shoes. So this costume is... Dun, da, da, dun, a Spider-Man costume. This dress is so cute. It looks just like a little Spider-Man outfit. So the top is like this red spider web fabric. And it has the Spider-Man sign on it. And then it has some mesh right here. Black mesh. And then for the skirt... It's just this black skirt. There's black fabric under it and then black mesh over top. And then the dress comes with this like face mask that you tie around your doll's face so that they look just like Spider-Man. And then for the shoes, this dress didn't come with any shoes. So I just found these like spider web, cobweb shoes in my collection and they have little spiders on them and they have cute little black bows. So I thought that this would be perfect for a Spider-Man costume. So this is what my doll Rose looks like dressed up as Spider-Man. So she just has her hair done. She has the mask over her face. And this is what the dress looks like on her. She looks so cute and I love how this dress looks on her. And then she just has the spider web shoes. And overall, I think that this outfit looks amazing. We hope you guys liked this video. We want you guys to comment down below which one is your favorite Halloween costume and what you're going to be for Halloween. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We love you guys. Bye!